if I seem a little drunk, it's because I'm a little drunk. Uh, I, a while back I was reading this online article about hilarious corrections that newspapers have had to make and one of them was they'd interviewed somebody, I think they had Asperger's and the newspaper had got this person's favourite My Little Pony wrong and the person who'd been interviewed had got in touch, was rather upset and had made them print a correction saying it wasn't this My Little Pony that was their favourite, it was this My Little Pony. Now I think I understand why the person was upset. The thing is, your favourite fictional character or it doesn't matter if it's My Little Pony or from Shakespeare or your favourite historical figure, your favourite writer, these things kind of define you because if I say that my favourite writer is Terry Pratchett, which it is, which she is, and you go off and tell somebody that my favourite writer is Ayn Rand, they're going to get the wrong idea about me based on that. They're going to completely misunderstand my philosophy, my way of thinking, what I look up to. And it's the same with fictional characters. Our favourite fictional character tends to be a character that we really look up to, that we really admire, that we wish we could be, or that we identify with. For instance, one of my absolute favourite fictional characters is David Tennant's Doctor from Doctor Who, the Tenth Doctor. And that's because his set of ideals, his ph philosophy, is my ideal. It's not something I can live up to, but that's the kind of person that I would be if I could. And that's actually me telling you something about myself, not telling you something about a fictional character. That's me saying, understand this character and you will understand so much of how I think and feel. And as I say, it doesn't matter if that's a My Little Pony or if it's a Shakespeare character or whatever. That is a person giving you a way to understand them. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is if you really want to understand somebody, if you want to understand what's going on in their head or how they're feeling at a particular time, a pretty good place to start is the fiction that they love, their favourite stories. Um, possibly I could have made my point a little better if I wasn't drunk. <laughs>